We're recording here. Hello, everybody. And welcome to the Make Code from Microbit show here in Seattle, Washington. I'm here with Zelie, who's going to be doing some of the manipulation. And today we're going to be using Make Code from Microbit. And Make Code from Microbit is a website. You can find it at makecode.microbit.org. And you can um, use it in any browser. You don't need the hardware to do this lesson. You can use it with the Microbit. But if you have one, you can use a Microbit, which is this cool little um, programmable Today. board. And today, Zeli, we're not going to do a tutorial. We are going to do a seven-second game. Okay. All right. So the seven-second game is quite easy. Are we going to make our own? Uh, we're so going to make our own. So we're going to do a new project. Make so the, the seven-second game is the following. Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to listen to me. Okay. You're going to click on a button. You're going to count seven seconds in your head and then you click again mm -hmm. and you're going to try to be as precise as possible to be so that what you're counting in your head is actually seven seconds. Okay. And that's a game that our friend uh, Willie Geek came up with a long time ago. All right, so we're going to do that. So first of all, because we want to click on buttons, we're going to go in input, input. and uh, we're going to take a button pressed event. Button press A or button yeah, press? A is good, and we're gonna get Do rid of the needs? no. Uh, we need uh, we don't need forever. We we don't need any of them. Oh. All right, perfect. And when we're gonna press uh, button A, what we're gonna do? It does nothing. No, it does nothing because there's no code that does anything. Uh, we're gonna record the time we press the button A. So for so that, we're gonna need a variable. Logic? We're going to need a variable. You know, variables like memories you have. So these are here. Variable. And then you make a variable and then you call it. What do we call it? You're going to call it start. This. Yes. Uh, so what we want to do is record the point in time where we press the button. Yes. And that will allow, it to compu allow us to compute how long it took. Uh, time or start. Sure. Allow to measure how long it took to start uh, between the two button clicks. So the microbit doesn't have a clock. It doesn't know what time of the day it is, but it actually can measure time very precisely. Clock start. So we're gonna do this. One. We're gonna set it. Yeah, I'll do that. Bye. And hold on, yep. let's let's zoom in. Okay. Can you zoom in? Yep. All right. And in input, you can go and you find the, the running time. Yes. And if you scroll down, there's a lot of things in input. You know, using the thing. And one of them, oh, it's not in here. So there's even more here. In. And there's something called running time. Running time. This one. Daddy. No, that's, that's in microseconds. We want the one in milliseconds. Okay. okay. Daddy, I can help Milliseconds, it's because there is mil, a thousand milliseconds per second. Mm -hmm. All right, so we recorded when we press the button. No. And now we should okay. show the user something mm -hmm. so that it knows that the game started. Mm -hmm. so, we so let's show something on the screen. Uh, maybe right here, like we draw. You can draw, you can use an image. I'm going to use it. image. All right. And that image represents um, the fact that we've started a game. Maybe we should do... Not a heart. I don't think a checkboard. Like Checkers. Okay. That's great. Let's test it in our program. And we can test that. We see that, yep, the image started. Uh, oh, there should be a light button. And now we're going to have the user press B when the timer is done. So we're going to handle the B event, the B button. So you take the A, yeah, and you do the drop down. B. Um, there you go. Let's move up all the blocks up. I'm gonna first move. There you go. Now we're gonna have to calculate how much time there is between now and Okay, calculate. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna create a new variable and I'm gonna Call that elapsed. 
because that's the elapsed time. E L A P double P elapsed. And that's going to be okay. the variable. Daddy, uh, put it there. All right, and then we're going to do math. Math, so in yeah. math. I'm going to take the subtraction. That's this. Oh, well, we can take this one. All right, let's move everybody to the left. Yeah, move everybody. That's a weird thing, so I'm going to throw it away. All right. Um, now, you want to do, this is going to be the current time. So, four. Or so, we're going to go and grab the current time here. And we're going to do a subtraction. So, so you have to change this to a minus. Hey. Minus. Minus. Take away. All right, and we're gonna subtract it to the ver to the value in start. 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 Start is a variable, so you're gonna find it in the variables. Start here. Yeah. Hmm. Variables. Variables, the red. Variables. All right, and there you go. Start. We're going to read the value that we stored in start. So if we subtract, oops. Nope. Uh -huh. Bring it back in. Okay, I'm going to have to. All right, let me try it. And we put it in here. All right, so we're going to get the number of milliseconds that. E? Yeah, let's try it. B does nothing. Let's try p pressing A. Check oh, we need to show something. Yeah, and that should B should be the end. Yeah, B should be the end. So let's show something where we press B now. So I'm going to show something on B. Um, so now we're telling the user that, well, the button click Shit. happened. Ooh, I'm gonna use the mouse like this. Oh, I don't. Um, I'm gonna do a sad face. I'm gonna do like. Uh, like All right, so sad face. Oh. Now remember, the game is to be as close as possible to seven seconds, which means. <laughs> but it has to say it has to end at seven seconds. Well, the user has to like do A and B and count seven in his head, or in his he in her head. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do one more variable. Yes. What? And we're going to call it score. Okay, where's S? That's key. Score. 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 All right, and good. now what we're going to do is going to do a bit of math. We're going to say that the score is equal to, and I'm going to take subtraction here, what? and I'm going to say the absolute value of the elapsed time. Hold on to your Sugsily. I tried to get that one in. There we go. Minus, and how many milliseconds are there in seven seconds? Mm. That's a hard one. Okay. One thousand seconds. So that's our score. So the closest to zero we are, the better. So what we're gonna do is going to show. We're gonna show that number. Oh, daddy. So numbers. Which so show number? score. The score variables. Okay. The score variable. Please, please, Daddy, I have to. Now you have to grab the, the block because oh. it's a variable. Oh. Score. All right. So I think we have a game here. Let's try to play it in the browser. Okay. You press A. I count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now press B, press B. Minus. Oh. Minus one. I think I did a mistake with my math. So this should be, this is going to be the error, and then we're going to take the absolute value of those. Of this. All right, let's try again, Dilly. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, zero, two, four. You were three seconds off <laughs> all right let's try it on the micro bit so can you go to the micro bit table yeah please download i really want to download all right right click 
right click. Yeah. Right click. Save. Link as. as. And microbit. Save. I have to get out of this chair. All right. So this is a fun game. Uh, uh, and you're going to want to be around here. All right. All right. So A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, zero, three. Oh, that was pretty good. You were 300 milliseconds off. Let's see if we can do better. Press A again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-one! Woo! You were really good. All right, so that's the game um, that we built today. Mm, that was fun. And if you have the game built on your microbit, you can go in your house and try to challenge your family and who's going to be the best at the seven-second game. And this is the full game. Look, so I'm going to go to home. This is the full game, and that's going to end. I'm going to see what our name is. And that's going to end. Yeah, we're going to share it. So we're going to call that. So I'm going to click on share. Um, I'm going to call that. What do you want to call it? Um, <laughs> what is it? Seven second game. Okay. Or one thousand second game. Seven, Seven second. second game. Okay, now plus. Game. What? And then to finish uh, you sharing. You can also send it to your friends. We click publish project. Publish, publish. And we get a link, and if you use that link, you can send it to your teacher or your friends or your what family, and they can play the it? game. Have a safe day. Have.